So let's go ahead and understand first what the question's asking us to find. It's asking what is the diameter of the cylinder? Sounds good. So I'm gonna write that out, I'm gonna highlight it. We just wanna know what the diameter of the cylinder is. So diameter equals blank. And we see that our answers are given in meters. So I'll say blank meters. Okay, sounds good. Now, what are we working with? Because again, we know that we're dealing with a cylinder. We see that, okay. Now, the next thing we need to understand is, well, what information about this cylinder are we given that we can use to find the diameter? Let's just figure it out. Let's understand what we're given. And thankfully, they use some pretty straightforward terminology. They say that a cylinder has a volume, we're gonna highlight that, a volume of 72 pi cubic meters. On top of that, we're given that this cylinder is eight meters tall. The biggest piece of information here is volume. Because when you're given a word as big as that, like area, volume, surface area, um, circumference, those are formulaic terms. But what I mean by that is there's a formula associated with that term. Who here knows what the volume of a cylinder is? What's the formula for that? Delilah, thank you. You were pretty prepared there. Pi times R squared times H. Yeah, if you didn't know the formula, here it is. No problem. It is volume equals pi R squared times H. That's what it looks like. Everything there is being multiplied together. The pi, the R squared, the H, all three of those are being multiplied together. Now, you're gonna see that this problem actually isn't that tough if you know your formulas. If you know your formulas, this is a quick one. So my party people, let's go ahead and include the information that we have. We know that we are given the volume and we are also given the height. So it looks like we can find this R right here and we can go from there. So everybody hit me up again. What did we say the volume was? What was the volume that was given to us here? What was the volume? 72? 72? Are you sure? 72 pi. 72 pi, that's what you're given. So we have ourselves 72 pi right there equals and then we have pi r squared and then what are we given for the height that's right we're given eight for the height so we'll write that out right there cool so let's zoom on in and let's figure out how to tackle this so we're taking a look here and so well it looks like everything on the right side is being multiplied so when i take a look at that I'm just gonna work backwards to figure out what R is. So first, man, let me go ahead and get rid of this pi. Watch this. Everybody, if I wanna get rid of this pi right here, it's being multiplied, so I can divide it on both sides. Oh, but look at that. On the left side, we also see a pi. That's gonna be very convenient. It's gonna be very, very, very convenient. And yes, the dot eight that you see, Shani, is the same thing as saying times eight, same thing. You can use dots, parentheses, the multiplication symbol itself, all of those work for sure. So when we go ahead, no worries, Shani. So when we divide the pi out, everybody, what happens when you have the same thing in the numerator and the denominator? What ends up happening? That's right. Thank you, Nick. We have that cancellation. So right here, that pi and this pi cancel out. Same thing on the left, on the right side. We have pi on top, pi on bottom cancels out. So what we have now is 72 equals r squared times eight. Well, if we're multiplying by eight and we're trying to get to the r, we're trying to basically work backwards, let's go ahead and divide eight from both sides. So when we divide eight from both sides, again, it's gonna cancel out on the right side. Let me use a different color. It's gonna cancel out on the right side. Everybody, 72 divided by eight gives us what? That's going to give us 9. That's right. So when we solve this, we're going to go ahead and just continue on over here. We have 9 equals r squared. So for those of you at this point who are feeling a little lost as we go through this, one, if it was because you didn't know your formula, then hey, that's fine. 
But number two, even after I gave you the formula, if you're feeling like it was hard to follow along as we solve this, then you really do want to work on your ability to solve equations. All we've been doing so far is working backwards. We started off from up here. We plugged in what we knew. We plugged in the value for V, which was 72 pi. We plugged in 8 for H. Then, noting that we need to get the R by itself, we went ahead and worked backwards. It's pi times R squared times 8. So to get rid of the pi, we divide the pi. That's how this happened right there in red. And then when we got over here, now we see that we got to get rid of that times 8. The opposite of multiplying by 8 is dividing by 8. And again, whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So we have to be careful there. We have to be precise. We were cancels out over here. And 72 divided by 8, that's 9. So right now we have 9 equals r squared. And the last question we have to ask ourselves is, well, what squared equals 9? What squared gives us 9? And that's going to be 3. So for those of you that did know your formula, for those of you that did know your formula, you may be sitting here and saying, hey, I know my formula, coach. I plugged everything in. I worked it all out. We got R equals 3. So with that said, my party people, uh, are we done? We got 3 for R. There's the answer right there. Are we done? Dan, Janae, Nick. No, we are not done. We're not. Because remember, what we are looking for is the diameter. We're looking for the diameter. What did we just find? We found the radius. We found R. So the question is, how do we get to the diameter from the radius? And for those of you who don't know, a quick diagram should help us out. A quick diagram will show that if we're looking at a circle, the halfway point to the center, or the center to the edge, that's the radius. The diameter is going to be the whole way, all the way across. That's the diameter all the way across. It's still going to be through the center. So let me just draw a circle that goes through both. But the diameter goes all the way across. And the diameter is exactly double the radius. So using that diagram, we have a radius of 3. What happens if we double the radius? What do we get? We get the diameter for sure. But what's that number going to be? What do we get when we double 3? Right, we get six. So we have six meters. That is our diameter, not three. That's the radius. We double it to get to the diameter. And that's why A is the correct answer. And now that you're done with the video, we have our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. I want you to get access to all of the live classes, practice problems, and support every step of the way. And I'm here to prove it to you. Go ahead, text TRIAL to 833-321-0182, and you're good to go.